Hey everybody, it's Pax. Welcome back to the finale of the Dream Eaters campaign play along with Harvey and York. It's been like nearly a month since I recorded a new video. Uh, it turns out that when you get married and your kid starts grade school, your life somehow gets really busy for a couple weeks. So uh, anyways, we left off with Harvey and York. We just barely made it out of Dark Side of the Moon with York taking a mental trauma and the group collecting a somewhat middling 6 XP, considering the amount of XP that's available in a full clear death scenario. Um, but I was happy with that. Uh, you know, it was a pretty rough, pretty rough go of it. And uh, we're happy to have walked away with that. Now, since it's been so long since I last touched the series, Hasco has long since completed both Scenario 3 and 4. <laughs> uh, in point of no retur return, Stella and Zoe got through the Sea of Pitch, and uh, then we carry out the results of the interlude, and they went on to defeat Atlach Nacha, and they returned to reality. So to catch up on the interlude, uh, we did not grow weaker. Randolph did survive the voyage, and we didn't ask for it. Uh, and then, uh, oh, no, it's down here. Uh, the black cat uh, has a hunch and bounds off into the void of space before you get a chance to ask it anything else. Uh, and then, over on Haska's side, uh, they have the silver key, and so the silver key gets transferred over to us, and I'm putting that directly into Yorick's deck to try and deal with that trauma a little bit. Um, and then... We carry on. Uh, we also... Oh, yes, also the black cat knows the truth, because he was searching for the truth. Uh, so before we head into setup for where the gods dwell, let us take a look at the upgrades. So for Harvey, I'm going incredibly boring, upgrading two copies of Mind Over Matter for a little bit more card draw, a little bit higher uh, test also, sacrificing the ability to commit uh, intellect icons to it, but I don't think that's a big deal. Um, and Cryptic Writings for a little bit more money. Uh, not much to say, the deck is incredibly basic. Uh, I'm a little worried it might not be doing enough to get through the next scenario, but I guess we'll see what happens. For Yorick, I am replacing both copies of Old Key Ring with two copies of Nothing Left to Lose. I love Nothing Left to Lose, and this deck has insane economy problems. So this card is both money and card draw. And I think that with two copies of Look What I Found, I'm contributing enough on the clue front in that finale by doing tossing a shitty investigate somewhere with a take heart and getting two clues off two of those locations. I think that's good enough. So hopefully we have enough cash to carry on and complete Where the Gods Dwell <laughs> and not find ourselves completely buried in enemies with no way to pay for this stuff to, uh, to deal with them. All right, we begin Where the Gods Dwell. Uh, the investigators traveled to the cold waste. We read intro two. Nothing in particular happens. The captain drops us off. You will find and scale the peaks of Unknown Kadath, or you will die trying. Uh, setup is already done in Tabletop Simulator. Uh, we do this beginning in play at the Plateau of Lang. We set aside a whole bunch of stuff. We set aside the Forsaken Towers, and we put the locations into play like this, and we begin. Uh, reminder for the token bag here, minus X is the current number of the act, so minus one at the moment. Cultists reveal another token if you fail, place a doom on the current agenda. That's kind of nasty. And the tablets are this really harrowing minus four. If you fail, choose and reveal a copy of Niar Lathotep in your hand. It attacks you and shuffles into the encounter deck. Um, obviously, for the purpose of this scenario, I'm not going to not talk about Niar Lathotep and die. Uh, I kind of have to ignore that rule in terms of doing a two-handed uh, video in which I'm, like, talking to you about my decision-making. If I weren't allowed to refer to him at all, it would make for a very stupid video. Um, and I'm not really here to make stupid videos. I'm trying to make ones that, you know, are are both entertaining and maybe a little uh, educational in, in some ways. So, yeah, we won't be we won't be dealing with that whole thing. Uh, so let's take a look at an opening hand for Mr. Harvey. We didn't clean up this area at all. Let's see what we get. Put that away. We do have that one copy of Orphic Theory. Huh. Might be nice to keep early. Um, but what we really need... Let me get rid of that. I think we're going to be getting rid of these. And saying that this occult uh, invocation is probably good enough. Is there a reason that's not uh, falling? Very weird little bug there. Um, I think the occult invocation is probably not necessary. No, we're gonna be we're gonna be mulliganing four cards. Okay. 
Celliano fragments and a magnifying glass and a deduction and a burning the midnight oil. We've got like money to do stuff once we get more cards um, and the value to be getting the clues that we need to get, but we're probably going to need to do a draw action to find some more useful stuff. Okay, and for uh, Yorick, I almost said Harvey. Let's see what we get. A lucky number three, a vicious blow, a derringer, a live and learn, and a knife. Ooh, let's have a think on that. I think the live and learn is not necessary. I think the vicious blow is actually... No, the vicious blow is fine. We'll put the knife away. Uh, and we'll even get rid of the lucky. We'll, we'll see for three more cards. Ooh, Jessica. Perfect. Daring. Fine. Overpower. Fine. Finally, we will look at the agenda and act. The Eye of Chaos. The agenda in the game that messes with people's decks when they try to do cursed decks. I see you there, playing with fate like it is all some sort of game. Did you really think you could escape my grasp? What makes you think you are the one in control? Journey through the cold wastes. Two clues per investigator to advance. We get the seven doom on this very first one. Something really fucky going on with my mod today. Hopefully this isn't too buggered. We begin play at the Plateau of Lang. It's a two-shroud location. When an enemy attempts to spawn at an empty location, and there are no empty locations in play, spawn that enemy here instead. Okay, well, for William, we're just going to do the obvious. Um, putting Jessica into play, putting the Derringer into play and then taking a resource. We're definitely going to need some more money, and I think I'm going to leave Harvey to use his ability on himself for some cards. And then for Harvey, we're going to uh, pop the magnifying glass into play for free. We're going to take uh, one card draw, uh, first action, I should say. So one, and then we will, what is this, after you draw? This is also after we draw, so we'll trigger that to draw another card. And um, I don't think we need the cash now. But I could gain three resources off this. No, I don't need that right now. Um, second action, I think we'll just pop the Celiano Fragments into play. And then last action, we'll investigate uh, seven against three. We get the clue, one clue off the location. Okay, so we get upkeep for Harvey, and that gets us an Arcane Enlightenment. That's mostly just icons at this point. And then for William, we get a Take Heart. Very good. Uh, did I forget to do this? That is the mulligan. Okay, I did not draw any cards, though, so let's just do that really quickly, and then we'll draw a different card. What do we get? Ah, a Guts. Okay. Unfortunately, not the take heart, but Guts is fine. One Doom. Never shuffled the encounter deck. An encounter card for Harvey. We get Dreamer's Curse. Test five for each point you fail by taking damage. So we're definitely going to be committing the Arcane Enlightenment to this uh, and getting quite a fair amount up. We're going to be at... 8 against 5. Minus 1. Very good. And then for William, we get the Liar with No Face. When he attacks you, if Whispering Chaos is in your hand, reveal it. Liar with No Face deals plus 2 damage for this attack. Okay. No worries. Um, so we're at 4, 5, 6, 7 with this. The Liar with No Face is fairly easily dispatched, but it is going to take a decent amount of our cash. Not that big of a deal. Excuse me, ammo, not cash. So we are going to go with William first. Uh, and we're just going to take the shots. Um, we'll do uh, the 7 against 3. Minus 4, that's 2 damage. 1 ammo gone. We'll do the 7 against 3 again. By the way, she should have uh, 1 damage on her. She enters play with 2 damage. And then she healed at the end of the round. Uh, another shot. Plus 1. So he is toast. Defeated, uh, but we don't unfortunately get to play an asset because we didn't have any. And then now I think I'll draw last action with William, the silver key. I don't think I'm going to trigger Harvey on this, mostly because I'm thinking that I don't want to draw the graveyard ghouls. That would be really bad. So I'll keep the draw for Harvey again. Okay, so for Harvey, let's just go ahead and get that last clue off the location. Um, you know, seven against three again. Ooh, there we go. We got that last clue. Very good. We'll take a move action to head down one. And then we'll be at the cold wastes. There's another two shroud location. Sorry, a two shroud location with two clues. After you reveal any of those tokens while investigating, either take a damage or lose an action. And then last action, we're just going to do a draw. And then we'll trigger that to do another draw. And we get the Orphic Theory. Okay, cool. 
So we get upkeep on Harvey. Uh, that's not supposed to be there. That must have gotten shuffled in at the end of my last game. And I'll just do a quick check to see if the other one is in here. Wouldn't you know, the other one was in there. Uh, I'll also check that there are in Yorick's deck. Yeah, uh, hilariously, they are in Yorick's deck because I actually re-imported it. I didn't re-import Harvey's, I just copied in the cards because it has this Orphic Theory. So, what do you know? Anyways, let's take another look at what that card draw actually is. It's a lab assistant. That's very good to have. And then for William, we get what? Leather coat. Also really good. Cool. All right. Feeling, feeling pretty good right now. Two out of seven doom. Any counter card for Harvey is... A Somnophobia. For each point you fail by, take a horror. To a maximum of three horror. Uh, uh, icons count as two matching icons. So we're going to go ahead and commit this cryptic writing. It's going to be giving us um, plus three total, getting us seven on five, and I'm happy with that. Ooh, the auto fail. Okay, but we take three horror, but we have lab assistance and stuff like that. That should be not too big of a deal. And then for William, we get another liar with no face. All right, uh, that is what it is, and I think I'm going to have to use this vicious blow up, unfortunately. Um, but again, not a big deal. Jessica would have healed at the end of last round. So, what will we do? I think we'll take the shot with the Derringer first. And to this, we'll commit a Vicious Blow. Um, let's think. We'll commit a Vicious Blow and a Silver Key. I'd like to play the Silver Key. Nope. Leather Coat. We'll get the Leather Coat in the discard pile. Minus one. So that's three damage. And then we'll just take a punch. Uh, five on three. Let's get to seven on three. Uh, minus four. So that is all good because that's a, not a negative modifier in addition to that. So we get to draw a card, uh, place that last damage on him, getting rid of him. Play the leather coat for free. There's the card draw. Ooh, a knife. Nice. Um... And then last action, I think we're just going to go catch up with Harvey. Um, yeah, we're going to go catch up with Harvey. We'll just be at his location there. So Harvey is going to take an investigate with a deduction to try and not need to take a bunch of damage and lose actions here, I think. So we'll just go ahead and get that done. Um, not too keen on doing much else, I think. I think that the lab assistant, I don't really... You know, you know what? I'm going to do the burning the midnight oil with the deduction so that I can get my car, my hand a bit lowered so that this isn't, if I hit my, um, my signature weakness, I'm not dunking myself too badly. Uh, minus four. So we get the two clues off the location. Um, and that's that. Uh, next action, we'll go ahead and spend two for a lab assistant drawing two cards. One, two. Okay. We'll trigger this for another card. Okay, cool. We're just going to go ahead and spend these clues to advance now. Don't think that's a huge deal. Uh, we reveal the Monastery of Ling, and we spawn the set-aside High Priest not to be described in the Monastery of Ling. So this is a three-shroud, four-clue location. Investigators spend two clues as a group. Remember that the investigators maneuvered the priest closer. And then this guy is a 5-6-3 uh, with alert, massive, and retaliate. This enemy cannot make attacks for opportunity. If this enemy is exhausted, spend two clues. Remember that you stunned the priest until the end of the scenario. This enemy gets a minus three fight. And finally, we're at Act 2 here. If an investigator maneuvered the priest closer and an investigator stunned the priest, defeat the priest, high priest, not to be described. If the high priest not to be described is defeated, advance. And then last action. I think we are going to get what? It's a little dicey what I want to do here. I think that replacing... I'm worried that an, an Arcane Enlightenment will be too slow and that I want the Dream Diary for next turn. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Um, I don't remember if any cards actually come into play in this scenario. I don't think any do. And so I don't think the Orphic Theory is particularly useful. Um... But I'd love to have this Dream Diary out. And I think that the, the magnifying glass is just worse. So I'm just going to play over this. And I have another one at some point. And we'll get it whenever. Okay, so we upkeep another perception. And then we upkeep over here into a take heart. 
three out of seven doom, an encounter card for Harvey. An Acolyte. Any empty location, place a doom on it. Well, unfortunately, um, I think he has to go here. Actually, you know what? I'm going to send him ahead. I'm going to send him ahead because there are clues here that we want that we can um, do all this stuff with, right? Yeah, I think that's fine. Yep. And then for Harvey, we get what? A Wizard of the Order! Fudge! That's a major bummer when the Mythos phase ends. Any empty location. So he's going to be going up a location. So, if Harvey goes first, he adds this to hand. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If I commit this, I actually don't get any of my stuff out of it. Ah, those guys getting split up the way they did there is a huge bummer. That is really unfortunate. So I think William has to walk down to that guy. He's going to walk into the Onyx Gate. It's going to come into play with 12 clues on it. Plus one Shroud. Plus two shrouds, excuse me. After it's revealed, check the log, remove a clue from Onyx Gate for each tally mark recorded next to evidence of Kedath. And if I'm not mistaken, I had seven total at one point, and then I got three at the end of uh, Scenario 3. So I believe there's two clues on this. Now to this, I believe I am fighting by... Ooh, what am I doing with this? This is a little tricky, because... What I would really like to do is, like, do a fight and get something into the discard pile. But also, I, I kind of need the weapon to come kill that Wizard of the Order. So, so there's no way for me to do that really conveniently. So I think I'm just going to do four, five, six, seven, and kill him with it. Zero. So he gets defeated. We're down a Doom. This goes into the discard pile so that I can get that back later. So a move and that. And I think I'm just going to move right back up. And that'll have him ending back there at Harvey's location. Now Harvey's going to get that Essence of a Dream. Harvey's going to move down to the Gates of Lang as well. Excuse me, the Onyx Gates. And then he's going to um, investigate with a deduction committed. Putting him at 5, 6, 7 against 3, minus 4. And we get two clues off the location. Very good. And we're also going to just move right back up. So now I've got two of the clues that I need to do one of the abilities here. I can do that one, maneuvering the priest closer. Um, or I've cleared this off. And if I get enough damage between the two of them to come kill this guy, then we're good. Um, so that's that's pretty good. And if not, I can, I can take a moment to come kill this guy off um, with either Yorick or Harvey. Okay, so... Uh, upkeep for Harvey. Cryptic Writings. That's uh, during your turn, right? Yeah, during your turn. I can't play that now. And then for Yorick, we get Tetsuo. Okay. Tetsuo's good to see. That's good. Four out of seven Doom. An encounter card for Harvey. Is the Dole of the Wastes. Oh no, the Cold Waste of the Great Hall. Okay, well, he's on us. Um, spawn and Prey. Now, I believe... That makes him spawn on to Harvey. So, yeah. And then for Yorick, we get the Whispers of Hypnos. Okay, so we're going to do Willpower. And what? Oh, that's really nasty. What I'm worried about is that I have to do, like, Willpower and Intellect. I don't want to do that, but I think that I have to. Yeah, I think that's correct, is willpower and intellect. So for Harvey, uh, we only really have one out, which is using the Essence of the Dream to do an evade, but I don't have enough cards to get enough on that. And so what we actually have to do first is try and evade two against two, and over on y uh, Yorick we commit this Take Heart to it. If it fails, they gain two cards and two resources. So we do that first. Minus two. Two cards, two resources. And then we evade again with the Essence of the Dream. Um, which is now at, like, you know, six against two. Minus one. He is evaded. Um, and then that's out of play. And we just have the one move, which is, like, super unfortunate. But I think that we kind of have to get in here and start doing this. So we're just going to move over with Harvey. 
and hope that that's good enough. Oh, uh, man. Yep. Oh, and this guy has an extra doom on him. Now, as for William, he pretty much has to do this. He has to play that knife. He has to move up to that Wizard of the Order, and he has to throw up a knife at him. So that's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to be at four, five, six, seven against four. Got to put the daring into it. Don't want to, but we got to. Minus one. Okay. So the knife gets discarded. Uh, he gets defeated. We gain a whole bunch more rounds back. And we draw a card with this daring. Uh, whoops. And when we defeated that guy, we also get to play a card from our discard pile. And I believe the silver key is the only option. But we do get to play the silver key, which is nice. Because that is letting us cancel a bunch of horror for the rest of the game. Well, Harvey takes one and one from the priest who is not to be named. Uh, I think during his turn, he could have done a working a hunch and got one of the clues. That might have been a good idea. That's fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, we'll be good on hand size. And then this will get added at the start of the next turn. Cool. All right. Yeah, we won't. Not a big deal. Um, and also, this guy is going to ready, and he does have hunter, but hopefully we can get rid of him. Something like that. So we get upkeep on Harvey for a mind over matter. Very nice. Definitely what I was looking for. And then an upkeep on William for a leather coat, which is just kind of ho-hum. Five out of seven doom. The counter card for Harvey is the liar with no face. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, it's fine. Let's see what we can do. And then for William, we got the dreamer's curse. We'll put the guts into that so that we'll be at uh, seven against five. Ooh. Minus two. Nice. Okay, so we draw a card. Oh, the extra Derringer. Okay. Recovering. We're, we're getting we're get, we're getting there. We're getting there. So Harvey's in a bad spot. This gets added to his hand, right? I think Harvey's turn looks something like this. What does it look like? Oh man, this is this is dicey. This is a real rough situation I've gotten myself into. So you can defeat him if you've maneuvered him and stunned him. So I'm just going to maneuver him closer right now by spending two clues off of Harvey. That's that. He's been maneuvered. That's one of them done. Then I'm going to play Mind Over Matter so that I have seven evade for the rest of the turn. And then I draw a card. Oh, thank God. I'm really not looking forward to hitting my, my weakness. Um, seven evade. I'm going to evade um, the big guy. And he's got three. So seven against three. And we get what? A minus four. So he's evaded. I'm just going to put him here so that I can see that. Um, and then I'm going to, for two, play a working hunch to get one of the clues off the location. And then I'm going to evade this guy. Yeah, I'm going to evade this guy as well. To be, you know, seven against three still. Minus four, he's evaded. Uh, and then I pretty much just have to do an investigate. So what I'm going to do with this investigate is play a burning the midnight oil for two resources and commit a perception Max one committed. I'm going to commit an Orphic Theory as well. And I just want to get some cards out of my hand is what I'm looking at right now. Um, and I may as well. Uh, no, I'll, I'll save that for a treachery. I think the, the, the Cryptic Writings as well is also getting... Uh, oh, I see what the problem is. This, is. this is one of those preview cards, so it's not like working properly. Weird. Um, anyways... Uh, so we're going to be at like 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 against the Shroud value. Minus 4 on that as well. The Shroud value is 3, so I'm going to get like one clue. So I already got one from the Working Hunch, which I forgot to take off there. Uh, so I got my one clue. And then I draw two cards from the Perception. Okay, still not hitting the weakness. I was kind of hoping I'd get it there, because now it's going to be painful. Okay. Uh, not great, but not bad either. So for Yorick, I think Yorick's just tanking this Dole of the Wastes for a bit, which is like a huge bummer, but it's better than him hunting to Harvey. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do 1-2 to play the Derringer. Uh, and then we're going to play 1-2-3 to play Tetsuo. And then we're just going to walk in like a chump. So during the enemy phase, he's going to attack us for 2 and 1. 
So we're going to go one, two, three, I believe. No, one, two, three, like that. We'll have the leather coat die another day. Yeah, that's good. And then these guys are going to be readying in front of Harvey with upkeep. Oh, man, really pl cutting it close on all this. That's really nasty. And then an upkeep for William gets him a solemn vow. That's going to be really nice to help out with Harvey. Because he's going to eat a thrice damned and it's going to hurt a six out of seven. An encounter card for Harvey is a hidden card. The Law of Yagiroth. You cannot play cards or trigger abilities on player cards with an odd printed resource cost. Fuck. All right, no, I can get an evade with the essence of the dream. That's fine. Okay. Uh, odd. That's the only one I can't use. Okay, not that big of a deal. And then for William, we get what? A Restless Journey. You cannot commit more than one card to skill test each round. Discard it in test three. If you fail, place a Doom in the agenda. This can cause the current agenda to advance. So that one's not too bad for him. Not too bad for him. So for Harvey, what I would really like to do is get away from this guy. Now, I can't do this without taking a ton of attacks of opportunity. He can't do attacks of opportunity. But I need to evade him to do the stunning. But that's okay. That's okay. I think we just do the evade. Yeah, we just do the evade with this. Because then we'll be at um, six. Yeah, six. Because that's going to get plus four. Do I have one more icon? I don't have one more icon. I do have two more icons on this mind over matter. And I think I'm going to commit that as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards in hand. A lot against three. That's a minus four. But we get to put that to the side and that there. And he's evaded. And then what I can do is... Let me think. What can I do? I can go one, two with the occult invocation, putting a dream diary and a guts into it, and committing a perception. Just trying to churn through the deck, trying to churn through it. Um, to be at a lot against three, just to hit this guy. Minus four again, that definitely succeeds by two. So we draw two cards, oh dear. Not good, but he took three damage. Can't play that. Uh, yeah, and then we'll just parlay this guy away, right? Uh, yeah, that is a parlay. No, nope. I can't afford to do that. I have to. I have to spend the action to get rid of this guy. I think. No, you know what I'm doing? One, two, three, four. Getting rid of the mob enforcer. Harvey is. Uh, well, uh, Yorick is going to come help me. That's what's going to happen. Okay, so Yorick, uh, it's your time to shine, buddy. Let's go ahead. And do what? She healed at the end of... Nope, that, that was from the attack. Can I evade him one up? Not likely. Is it worth trying to? Not particularly. But I do have a ridiculous amount of soak right now between all of my stuff. Also, I could have canceled this horror with the silver key, and I will do so. So I'm going to take a move action... Um, and that's exhausted right now because that was, no, that is readied. That is ready because that was during the enemy phase. Canceling the horror, dealing one and one, and moving over. And I'm going to shoot this guy. Four, five, six, seven against value. Um, I don't want to commit the overpower. I will commit the leather coat uh, just to get it into the discard pile. Um, no, I'll save that for when I need it more. Um, anyway, seven against three. Minus four. That is a kill. He gets discarded. And then we get to look in our discard, in our discard pile for a card that we want to play. And I think I'm playing the knife over the Derringer. I'll fetch that card in a second. And then we'll take another attack of opportunity. Dealing one and one. Uh, to me and taking a horror onto Tetsuo to defeat the priest not to be described. 
and I'll go get him out of the, uh, put him in the victory display correctly. I also took a second to get my Derringer and Leather Coat set aside as my assets that I have. Now the High Priest, not to be described, has been defeated. And so, he was uh, defeated using the ability, despite your fear, yada yada, no matter how it was defeated, also read the following. Not doing it. Uh, you believe that Kadath is the highest peak far to the north, but in order to open the gates leading to that forsaken land, you must prove that it exists. We have to go to the Onyx gates and have no clues on it to advance. Very close to that. Okay, during the enemy phase... Uh oh, and then this guy heals. And then during the enemy phase, he's going to be attacking me for one, and one, and two. Very good. Very good. Get rid of Tetsuo. Thank you for your service, sir. We're going to look at the top nine cards of the deck for an item, and it's my hand. No! Okay, so uh, we're getting the chainsaw to hand. We, we want that badly. Would have not minded getting any of those economy cards, but what we need is the chainsaw. Okay, over to Harvey for upkeep. What do we get? A Guts. Fine. And William for upkeep, we get the other Solemn Val. Okay, no worries. And we advance. Uh, it is not Act 4, so we don't read the following. That's the only effect? Yep, that's it. Uh, five Doom. Encounter cards. The other law of Yugiroth. Discard a player card with an even number. Uh, you cannot commit s cards to skill tests with an odd number of total skill icons on them. So I can't use this at all. Uh, and the rest of these are usable. Cool. And then for William, we get an Acolyte. And he's getting a Doom on him and he's heading into a location. But we're just going to put him at the Onyx Gates and we're going to try and kill him in a minute. Um, that's fine. So, uh, oh, I spent the clues off Harvey to do that ability. Absolutely forgot about that. Let's do that right now. So, this guy needs to get evaded, and how are we doing it? That's tricky. Could be that we kill him with an Occult Invocation, but I kind of don't like that very much. Um, just doesn't seem like great odds. And, um, yeah, just seems kind of rough. To, to waste the time killing him. But, I mean, I can't really evade him with York very competently right now. I just don't have the cards for it. And I can't stand around. I just, you know, half my soak just went away. So I can't really stand around doing that. So I guess that's what we're going to have to go for. So uh, Harvey is going to go 1-2 for an Occult Invocation. We're going to discard the Magnifying Glass and the Arcane Enlightenment. And we will commit this to it, I believe... To be at five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, nine against six is not a particularly good value, um, but that's where we're at. Wow, that is really rough. As a reminder, I guess we're looking like the bag is like this right now. Pretty crummy, but it does kind of feel like the thing we can do. Um, let's reconsider it though. Let's look at this again. Let's look at this again. Do we engage and evade it? Eight. We'd only be two up. We need to draw a card first. Yep, okay. So we engage, evade. Draw a card, engage, evade. No, see, that's not very good either. We engage, evade. We evade with the Eye of Truth. Yeah. Engage, evade, move. That's what it is. That's what it's got to be. Engage, evade, minus three. He is sent to the shitlord land, and we move. Hoof, not great, but it is what it is. So he's right here. Uh, York is going to move. York's going to move again, unsurprisingly, back to the Onyx Gates, with the Acolyte engaging him. And then York's just going to swing at this guy once with the knife. Uh, what is he, four, five, six, uh, seven. With this coat, zero, he's dead. We get to play a card from our discard pile for free. We're just going to play uh, the other coat, I guess. Right? It doesn't make any sense to do anything else. That's fine. We get upkeep on Harvey. Working a hunch. And just to rearrange this hand a bit to make sure that I am... I can't play the magnifying glass or commit it. Yep, that's it. And then for William, we get another Tetsuo Mori. Cool. Okay, one out of five. Counter card for Harvey is... Uh... A Restless Journey, which of course now that I've used up my Eye of Truth, I get. Fuck you, game. And the ability on this one is you cannot commit more than one card to skill tests each round. So, that's kind of rough. 
And then William gets uh, Somnophobia. Cannot commit more than one to that. So we'll just commit a Solemn Vow to it. Um, that's kind of what they're here for, to be seven against five. Bunch of horror coming my way if I fail that. Minus two, I do not fail it. Very good. And that is an asset. Cool. So we'll go ahead with Harvey. We're going to move down. And when we move in, all of our investigators are at the Onyx Gate, and no clues run it, so we advance. Each investigator loses all their clues, and we read the interlude. Goodbye. So let's carry on. We only read it when we're instructed to. Uh, Virgil is not understanding. We reveal the Onyx Castle and place each investigator at the Great Hall. On its revealed side, remove each other location other than the Great Hall from the game. And then, because Randolph survived the voyage, we proceed to Grand Design number two. We remove R Randolph from Yorick's deck, and then we skip to Grand Design number five. Um, because of what? Is there Black Cat at my side? I don't think so. Yeah, he's not. Um, sure. Uh, we randomly choose one plus one uh, per investigator copies of the set aside Nyarlath the Tap enemy without looking at them, shuffle them in the encounter deck, remove each other copy of Nyarlath the Tap from the game, shuffle the set aside Crawling Mist and set aside copy of Myriad Forms and numbers bring chaos into the encounter deck, along with the encounter discard pile, which unfortunately I think that that big dole of the wastes or whatever uh, got put there. And then we shuffle the Forsaken Towers and put four of them into play at random around the Great Hall like that. Uh, and then there's North, East, South, and West. We'll randomize those Forsaken Towers, drop them around the sides. And those are our ones that we're dealing with today. We're at the Great Hall. Choose another investigator at your location to add a hidden card to their hand, the chosen investigator's hand. We do need to keep in mind that the skulls just got real bad. Minus fours. It's like all minus fours all the time. Now we can spend a clue to look at the top three cards of the encounter deck, draw each of those cards with the hidden keyword, and discard the rest. Find and expose Nyarlathotep's true form by adding copies of Nyarlathotep to the victory display. If one plus one per investigator copies are in the victory display, advance. So we are looking for all the copies that we put into the deck. Now, it is our turn with Harvey. I think that we're just going to carry on and start revealing some locations. Because the sooner we get the clues off, the better. We're moving here. The Forsaken Tower of Illusion and Myth. You cannot use this location's uh, ability unless another card allows you to. Investigate, choose and reveal a copy of the uh, buddy from your hand. For this investigation, the Shroud is equal to his health. If you succeed, add that copy to the victory display. If you fail, he attacks you and is shuffled into the encounter deck. But I need these clues. So, can we get those clues? We can get one of them pretty easily. We can get two of them pretty easily as well. So we're going to investigate the location 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Against 5. Second action. Uh, it was move investigate. Final action, rather. Minus four. That is definitely a clue. Uh, and then we'll just boom, boom for a working hunch to get the other clue. We'll take that. Uh, as for William, what are we doing for Willie old boy? Um, I think that we are happy to take three resources because we're going to want to play this chainsaw at some point. Um... Yeah, I think that's actually it. I think we're just taking resources, because that's all we really need. Like We just need the chainsaw to get in place so that we can kill stuff that happens to crop up. That's it. All good. What are you looking at me for? Kill Jessica. An encounter. Nope, not an encounter. Upkeep for Harvey gets us the Vault of Knowledge. More maximum hand size. Very good. And then, uh, I believe he's a damage. When did that come off by accident? Uh, and then an, um, the upkeep for York gets him Randolph Carter, which I apparently forgot to remove. <laughs> <laughs> we'll replace that with an emergency cash. Cool. All right. One out of five doom. Let's make sure we shuffle that for sure. And an encounter card for Harvey. Uh, okay, find a cultist. Okay, we'll just do that. So Harvey just went and fetched an acolyte. We're just going to send him to one of the empty towers for York to deal with. York gets... E crawling mist. Most cards in hand. Hunter massive. Increase the difficulty for you to attack or attempt to evade him for each card in your hand with an encounter card back. So we do have one. That's not a big deal. He only has five health. We can kill him with, like, the knife and derringers and stuff like that, and we'll be in good shape. We're going to go ahead and move. We're going to go with Harvey first, because we want to be able to do what we can to help him. We're definitely moving back to the center. And then I think we're going to spend two on an occult invocation, and we're going to try and kill this uh, crawling mist. So we have plus three to fight him right now. Um, but we can just discard a ton of stuff, I think. Ooh, actually, no. So this is going to be in hand. I don't think I can actually quite get high enough. Because be he'll be at six. Five. 
six, seven, eight, nine. I'm only going to be three up. So we can't do that. That is a big shame. It would be really nice to help him with that, but I don't think that's going to work. Um, instead, I think what we're going to do is maybe... I feel like I should get rid of one of these and then play the vault or something like that. No, you know what? I think I just spend a clue to look at the top three cards. Yeah, I think that's what I got to do. So let's go uh, one, two, three. We do get one hidden card into our hand. Oh, God, the other law of you, Giroth. Cannot play cards or commit cards to skill tests with an odd number of words in their title. So that can't be done now. That can't be done now. Oh, no, odd, right? Odd number. So guts can't be guts can't be sent yeah okay so these are all unusable now um, and then these get discarded uh, last action let's get rid of something what's my hand size one two three four five six seven eight nine ten I'm gonna be at hand size so let's get rid of something um, Let's get rid of the... I'd like to play the Vault of Knowledge if I could. But I don't have anything in play that does that right now. Okay, so I think that committing skill icons is probably the best thing I can be doing. Oh man, this is it's so tricky to deal with this many of them all at once. Let's, let's get rid of my Arcane Enlightenment and this so that I can play my Guts again. That's what I'm doing. Last action. Final answer. Okay, so for Yorick, um, it is a little unfortunate, but we do have to just, like, kind of eat this a little bit. So we're at uh, four, five, six, seven against four. Um, yeah, that's and that's fine. So what is this? Uh, you cannot commit more than one card to skill tests each round. I'd love the chainsaw to be in my discard pile so that I can just use it right away. But I think that I'm going to try to kill this guy this round. So, um, like I said, seven against three, and we're just going to have to run the odds on that, aren't we? I hate that. I can tank him for one turn. Seven against three. Oh, baby! This test is successful. Return a card from your discard pile! Yeah. yeah, look at this shit right here, right? And then we shoot him again with this one, four, five, six, seven, eight against four. Minus four, that is three damage, bringing this guy up to five, and he is off in the hex zone. And now that he's in the hex zone, we get to spend two to replace this Derringer that we just emptied with this Derringer that is now full. Very good. Oh man, that is so good. Nice! Um, I could have played the Solemn Vow onto Harvey. I wonder if that's it. I wonder if that's the play, actually. No, 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 no. Uh, yeah! No, no, I'm being silly. Uh, and then I walk over to the Cultist. So this guy's going to attack me for one, but I am going to have Jessica to soak that for me. Two Shroud, you cannot... Uh, it's the fight and reveal a copy of him using willpower instead of combat. Ooh, interesting. Okay, of life and death. So this guy's in my in my threat area. So he is going to punch uh, William for one. That's going to go on Jessica. And then we're going to get an upkeep on Harvey. Lab assistant, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards in hand. And an upkeep on William gets us the lucky... This brings us to three, uh, four because of the Acolyte at a five. An encounter card for Harvey gets us a hidden card. The Whispering Chaos North. North. Okay. And then Yorick gets, ooh, the Whispering Chaos West. Okay, West. Uh, and as a reminder to everyone, because I am a nincompoop, uh, it is never eat soggy worms. Yeah, this is unfortunately necessary for my dumb ass. Okay, so we're going to go with Harvey first. We're going to add the Essence of the Dream to hand. Um, 
we are going to discard a player card with an even printed resource cost from our hand. Now, we do have the lab assistant in that wheelhouse. So we're going to discard the lab assistant and the law of Yigiroth. Uh Whoops, she went the wrong way. Let's go grab her. Wrong spot. Um, so we do that. And now I believe I can play the Vault of Knowledge. I just can't commit it. Yep, there's the Vault of Knowledge. Uh, so we will play the Vault of Knowledge. One, two, three. Get that into play. A whole bunch of card acceleration off that. And then we will um, spend our last clue to look at three more cards from the encounter deck. Uh, getting rid of Abandoned by the Gods. A very good one to get rid of. Dreamer's Curse in myriad form. Yeah, not a big deal there. Now for William, we're going to go ahead and uh, knife this guy. So four, five, six. Mm, really don't want to use a lucky on that. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and shoot him with the Derringer once. Could be at seven. Yep, definitely wanted to use that. Mostly just don't want to waste the time uh, with failures. Um, and that's fine. We'll go one, two, three to play to get Tetsuo into play again. I like that. Uh, and then we will play the emergency cache for one, two, three back. I'd really love to see one of my look what I founds out of this deck. It would be very good right now, but unfortunately not what we're seeing. Um, and so to that effect, we're just going to head back to the center. Right there. And um, you know what? We're going to we're going to put the solemn vow onto Harvey, and we're going to bring a horror over onto Jessica. Or sorry, a damage over onto Jessica, and then she's going to heal at the end of the turn. Bam! Upkeep for Harvey. There's three stand. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's two damage. Not bad. Glad that I have the solemn vow thing going on now. And then for William, we get a take heart. Four out of five. Counter card for Harvey is restless journey fallacy. Cannot commit more than one card to skill tests each round, still. And then for William, the Somniphobia. Test five. For each point you fail by, take a horror to a maximum of three horror. Yikes. That's about to hurt. Um, let's commit the take heart to that. That is the most amount of cards I'm allowed to commit to, to any test this round. I might have been messing that up. I'll have to check that in the, uh, in the post. So three against five. Minus one is two against five, so I can take two horror, canceling it with a silver ring, uh, which I will. Um, and so I can get two cards and two resources. Oh. Harvey's going to wake up uh, William first turn. Easy, really. Uh, we're going to walk to the north just to get some locations opened up and see what we're dealing with. Two shroud, you cannot use... This, this is evade using book instead of um, agility. Oh, that's very good. Nice. Oh, we're getting some pretty good ones. Very good. Uh, and then it's just time to get some clues, I think. So let's get them. Yeah. Uh, five, six against uh, two. Minus four. So we get a clue from the location, and we use this to draw a card. And then we will use that to draw a card. And then we will discard Restless Journey Fallacy with the uh, Eye of Truth. If I fail, I can place a Doom on the current agenda. I have to place a Doom on the current agenda, and it can cause the agenda to advance. But, um, but I won't fail. I simply won't fail, and I'll be adding that to the Victory Display along with the Eye of Truth so that these are easier to get rid of now. Very good. Now William has his whole turn ahead of him, uh, and this Restless Journeys can also be tested away. So we will discard this and test um, seven against three, which is successful, and that is now discarded. Um, so I have the West one. I think I'm just going to draw some cards, trying to find my look what I found. There's a Graveyard Ghouls, uh, and we'll spend the rest of the turn killing this guy. So let's discard, let's commit a Chainsaw to fighting him with the Derringer. Uh, with the knife for one damage. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine against three. Minus one for one damage. And then we'll shoot him with the Derringer 
four, five, six, seven against three for two more damage. He gets defeated. After he's defeated, I can play the chainsaw for one, two, three, four. Hello. Cool. Cool stuff. Upkeep for Harvey gets us our last expensive research here at the end of the deck. Uh, we are definitely under hand size. And then for William, we get a live and learn. And then we advance. Uh, it is Act 4. Place clues on each Forsaken Tower until it has clues equal to its clue value. Reveal each copy of Nier uh in each investigator's hand. Each investigator who did not reveal a copy must either take a damage or horror. For each copy of him revealed by an investigator, that investigator must choose. He either attacks the investigator and is shuffled into the deck, or he attacks them three times and is returned to their hand. We are each taking a damage or a horror. I think I'm going to kill off the lab assistant before my deck shuffles uh, with Harvey. And this would have healed off of Jessica. Um, and I'm just going to put it right back on her, I think. I think that's correct. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, five Doom on Agenda 3. Counter card for Harvey is what? A Mysterious Chanting. We get a Cultist out of the deck again. Great. We're going to just send him down here. That is a... Um, those are all of the wrong tokens. Um, send him down here for Harvey... Or, excuse me, Yorick to go deal with. And then Yorick gets what? A Liar with no face. The card... Most cards in hand. Okay. A uh, little unfortunate, that. It would have been nice to not get a guy with four health. Bummer. Okay, so for Harvey, we're just going to go ahead and play an expensive research. So we have uh, eight cards in hand, minus that much cost uh, to get both the clues off the location. We have how many clues right now? We have three clues. I can action move to the center. Third action, use the ability... Um, to draw three encounter cards. Spending a clue to draw three encounter cards. One, two, three. Uh, those all just get discarded. Wow, this is going really poorly for us. Uh, William gets to chainsaw this guy. Uh, four, five, six, seven against three. Zero for three damage. And then we get to punch him with an overpower. Uh, for four, five, six, seven, eight against three. Minus one. That draws us two cards. Uh, after this enemy is defeated, we will add him to the victory display. Sure, yeah, I'll do that. Bye. And then I will just draw more cards, because I desperately need to see my look what I found. Wow, this is going really rough on that front. Uh, Jessica heals one. And these all get to go away. Okay, uh, Harvey upkeeps and gets a horror, a deduction. That gets us some more clues quickly. That's good. Um, okay, but we can't commit it. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, okay, that's fine. And then William gets and nothing left to lose, which is like so useless with this many cards in hand. One out of five doom. We have so little that time left. Is going very poorly on that front. Counter card for Harvey is Abandoned by the Gods. Test three for each point you fail by. You must choose a different number between zero and four. Each player must discard each event and asset from their hand with a printed resource cost equal to, to any of the chosen numbers. So let's put Guts into that to be uh, six against three. And let's even put the Essence of a Dream in. Uh, I can only commit one card. Let's put the Essence of a Dream in to be uh, seven against three. Boom. That is absolutely crushed. That goes to the side for now. And then uh, Yorick gets Somnophobia. Uh, another big horror hit. We will test three against five with this Lucky in hand and just see what happens, I think. Um, is that right? Yeah. Three against five with the Somnophobia. Yeah. I think that's right. Yep. Minus four. We'll play this. Uh, that doesn't work. Yeah, we'll play that. We'll get a different card. Uh, and we take three horror, which we'll cancel one of. So we'll go one, uh, two, three. And we'll look at the top nine cards of our deck for an item. One, two, three, four. Hey, look, there aren't any. Would love to get some of these clues so I could do some of this stuff with, uh, with, with Yorick. And that didn't even do anything. Okay, let's go with Harvey first. We'll spend one clue for three more cards. One, two, three. 
Whispering Chaos South. Jesus. And then we'll spend our next clue. Holy shit. For three more. One, two, three. Oh my god. Can I get... Ah! Come on! Jesus Christ! Oh, we're fucked. It's over, I think. <laughs> this should be my hand, by the way. Uh, if, if it matters. Oh, man. Oh, I felt like we were doing so good. Or I felt... Well, no, I didn't feel like we were doing good, because we're on the last agenda with no time left to, to finish this, but I thought it might have been possible, but Jesus Christ. I just don't have any move tech. If I had a whole, if I had a shortcut in the center, I'd feel a lot safer right now. Ugh. God. Okay. I gotta get some clues again. Still, still, somehow. Okay, so Harvey's gonna move over to the Forsaken Tower. Because if I happen to draw an Yarlathotep on upkeep, there's so few cards left in the encounter deck, by the way. Um, if I happen to draw it from Yarl uh, Yarlathotep during the upkeep, I can do this uh, fight, I think. I hope. God, I hope. Uh, and then in addition to that, I'm going to try and get rid of this Restless Journey by committing this Essence of the Dream for a dickload of... Uh, a dickload of icons, uh, plus the Eye of Truth. Okay, cool. That is just gone. Very good. Okay. Whoops. Ah, I deleted that instead of instead of using it up. <laughs> that's funny. Okay. Uh, and then that's me. So Yorick gets the more basic play of moving down a location to try and kill this acolyte. This is the evade as if uh, reveal a copy and attempt to evade it as if it were at your location. You don't replace the value with anything. Uh, but the acolytes in my encounter threat area. Uh, and then we'll just um, we'll just punch him quite a lot up. Uh, four, five against uh, against three. Uh, minus four. We'll try that again with plus two to be seven against three. And he is dead. Um, and then I will move back to the center because if I get him, I need to go do this. I can't afford to not just do this. Yeah, I think that's correct. So he'll be chilling at the center there. Yeah. Okay, upkeep for Harvey gets us a Burning Midnight Oil. One, two, three, four, five. Five. We're good on hand size. And then for William, we get a hey, look what I found. Finally, you bastard. Two out of five doom. Not much time left. Counter card for Harvey is Whispers of Hypnos. Oh, dear. Okay, so if we do get him, I have to investigate there. With the Shroud equal to Nyarlathotep's printed health, which is going to be, like, really high, probably. <laughs> oh, God. Um, so we're going to say... Uh, we're going to say Agility, and we're going to say... Um, uh, intellect, I think. Yeah, Agility and Intellect. Yeah. And then for William, we get the Myriad Forms. Uh, this gains Surge, because there's no Nyarlathotep's... And then a deeper slumber. Checked each time you draw one or more cards. Okay, well, that's about to hit me very soon. So how do we do this? I think it goes like one, two, to play the extensive research. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oh, nine. Uh, and this is also enhanced if it's actually free, right? Um, for, two, for two clues. Uh, and then we move back. And then we do the ability for three cards. Oh, no. Son of a bitch. Oh, that's so awful. And it sucks because I can't <laughs> add a hidden card in your hand to the chosen investigator's hand. Like, it's just, oh, it's so bad. And that's all three copies. So, like, we have to, oh, God, there's so much to get done. It's so little time. All right, we'll see if we can do it. Um... So for Yorick, I mean, what does Yorick even do at this point? Like, it's just silly. It's just silly. Absolute absurdity. Um, he just plays Bodyguard? No. Harvey has to send him one of the copies of Nyarlathotep. But he has West. And West is, like, the one thing that he's shit at doing of all these. Because the Lucky could be used for any of these, really. Brutal. Okay, so I've got cards in hand. 
I've got to live and learn. I've got, look what I found. I can pass an investigate. It just needs to be the lowest one. Probably that one. Yeah, that one right there. Oh man, we got so much health to shoot through. I don't think, I don't think we can, I don't think we can do it. I'm worried we can't do it. Um, okay, get rid of this deep slumber because I really can't afford to just lose my entire hand. And what? Play a copy of Tatsuo. Yeah, I feel like that's... Oh, I used the lucky. Shit. Oh, yeah, that's not good. Okay. Upkeep for Harvey gets us a deduction. Deductions can't be committed, and I don't need clues any longer. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We discard this. It goes away. And we discard this magnifying glass. Yeah. Looks good. Looks good. Upkeep for William. Gets him another Tetsuo. Uh, that was not... Yeah, there shouldn't be another Tetsuo. He should have been in the discard pile. I think I accidentally put him... Yeah, I accidentally put him there. Uh, that goes to hand. Nope, nope, nope. That goes to hand. There we go. Much better. Uh, and this should be over here. <laughs> I don't know what the hell just happened. That was that was wacky. But uh, yeah, the nothing left to lose. Three to five doom. That got shuffled. Counter card for Harvey. Please not enemies. A mysterious chanting. Oh my god. Fuck off. Okay, a cultist has to come out into play. Oh. So the cultist comes into play here uh, with a doom on him. And an encounter card for William is... Cannot play or commit cards to skill test with an odd number of words in their title. Look what I found. Okay. Odd. Odd. Oh, that's odd, too. Shit. Oh, that's bad. Okay, so I'm just going to pass a crazy investigate with him. Oh, that's so... That's so ass. Jesus. All right, so Harvey, we spend an action to send over this copy of Nyarlathotep, I guess? Oh, this is so brutal. Nah, we're, it's over, isn't it? I think that's, I think that's the death knell. This, this comes to hand. Um, oh my god, I cannot even manipulate my hand right now because the hand boxes aren't large enough. So I send this one over. I move to one of the locations that I need to do this at. East, north, south. Uh, which one can I do easily? Um, north, I guess. It's evading with uh, intellect instead of uh, agility. So we'll evade uh, this guy by revealing both of those. Right? Yeah. Um, and we'll be at five, uh, six, seven, eight against three. Minus four, he goes to the victory display, and this gets discarded. Okay, so that's one thing down. We're going to move over with Yorick and fight the uh, cultist with a chainsaw, just so that we don't risk wasting time. He's dead. We have to investigate the location with the Whispering Chaos West um, and the Nyarlathotep, and I am at two, three, four, five, six against four, and that's the best I can do. And I really need that to go off. So let's see what happens. Fuck. No, wasn't meant to be. So we get upkeep for Harvey, getting us a lab assistant. Upkeep for William, getting us the other look what I found. Maybe I should have waited a turn. My mistake. Four out of five doom. Encounter card for Harvey is a deeper slumber. Doesn't matter too much. An encounter card for Yorick is a Dreamer's Curse, which I can't really do anything about, which is just going to deal me some damage. So uh, three against five. A zero is two damage right onto Jessica's face. Um, so what does it look like for me? Um, really can't do that. So, yeah, screwed. Just for the sake of argument, you know, Harvey can move, move, and then do a fight with uh, willpower instead of combat. And he would be able to do a fight against this guy of two 
uh, at the east with this guts committed, and he'd be six against two. That would be his whole turn, pretty much, right? Uh, and he'd draw a card, and then he'd draw another card, and then he'd take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and he'd take two damage. Uh, but he would succeed at that. Um, did the guts draw me a card yet? Nope. Um, and then this guy would be in the victory display. That would be discarded. Uh, but when, every time I drew a card, I would need to check my maximum hand size, which would be like um, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, so I only just went over. So I discard one of those. Fine. Fine. Uh, and we got two of them in the victory display. Uh, but unfortunately, two of them in the victory display is not quite enough to uh, complete the scenario. So all I can really do on William is what? Um, draw a card. It's a vicious blow. Um, discard vicious blow because it has an even number of words in its title to discard this from my hand. And then last action... Uh, cry because I can't do that thing again, right? If I had, if I had that still, I'd be able to do it, but I can't. So, alas, that's game over. Upkeep for Harvey, doesn't matter. Upkeep for William, doesn't matter. And we do out. Each investigator is defeated and driven insane. Yep. Um, I think I just didn't bring decks that were suited to task. Uh, given the card pool, it should have been a bit trickier. Try to play something that's like really playing to the strengths of the scenario a little bit better. But it is what it is. Nyarlathotep's invasion has begun. If we are playing as the interconnected eight-part campaign, we proceed to the epilogue. I forgot how far away it was. I should have done that without recording. Um, what's the what's the right one? His invasion's begun, and the investigators return to reality. So epilogue number two is, so you made it back to your world? I hope you had a pleasant trip. Yes, your erstwhile companions are awake once more. But they're not the same, are they? Of course they're not. They might not remember their dreams, but that does not mean that they did not happen. Do you not see the glimmer in their eyes? Have you not noticed them whispering to some other entity when you're not around? Yes, that one. You know of whom I speak? Don't worry, you at least have some time before the end. Just remember, I did warn you. The two groups were re reunited in the waking world, or were they? The investigators averted one form of destruction, but not the other. Sorry, Haskell, couldn't pull it off, but anyways, it was a good ride. Um, pretty tricky campaign. You know, that one's, that one's a tough scenario if you don't have the wider card pool to really... Uh, to really do stuff like scroll of secrets so that you're getting extra an extra three cards every 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 phase out of the or every turn out of the encounter deck and stuff like that scroll of secrets level three for seeker um but we did faff around in the first half of the scenario a little bit longer than i really meant to you know that that um that definitely bogged me down quite a lot and um the scenario has always felt like it needs like one or two more doom like, if I had been failing any of those restless journeys, that, that would have been so over. Um, but ultimately, you just need quite a bit of movement tech to 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 get out on top of everything. Like, I, I feel like you just... What this scenario demands of you is action compression. And if I wanted to do that, I probably should have gotten police badges on Yorick. Or I should have gotten... Mm, can't really think of anything else for Harvey, given the card pool. But... Um, there's definitely something that could have been done to help with that kind of action compression component. And I didn't do that, and I suffered for it. So thanks very much for watching. Appreciate it. Uh, if you're still sticking around watching at this point, despite it being over, you know, life's getting really hectic lately. Um, so I'm probably not going to do anything aside from finish up that War of the Worlds campaign before the Scarlet Keys campaign releases. I am planning on doing a... Uh, unboxing video again like I did of the player cards and an unboxing of the Scarlet Keys campaign when it comes out. Um, Veronica from Mythos Busters uh, Discord and various communities read it 
and her channel until the end of time uh reached out to me and wanted to do a collaboration on the um kind of unboxing slash first first impressions video that i do for uh the scarlet keys player cards so um that'll be the next thing coming out after the war of the worlds ends or it'll be the next thing coming out if i don't have time to record war of the worlds uh before then or if for some reason this doesn't come out before then and all this wouldn't have mattered anyways so thanks very much for watching and i'll see you next time